Are you hoping to learn how to build a website on Squarespace? Or maybe you're just considering the platform right now, but you wanna actually see it in action before you decide to commit to it. I'm Paige, a Squarespace expert and online business educator. And in this crash course video, I'm gonna show you how to create a stunning page design in Squarespace in just 10 minutes. Okay, so first I wanna give you a little preview of the website that we're going to be recreating here in our demo. So I have created this beautiful little website for a fictional members lounge in Paris. Now, in order to get started, you're gonna to wanna to head to squarespace.com. You can also find an affiliate link in the description below. If you use that one, I very much so appreciate it. Once you click on that link or head to squarespace.com, you're going to be brought to the Squarespace website, and then you're gonna to wanna to head to the templates page. Then on the templates page, you can scroll through and see all the variety of different templates. For the example that I'm gonna be doing here, I use the Soria template. If you're unfamiliar on how to pick the right Squarespace template from the very beginning, or I actually created an entire video just on that. I'll link it up above so you can also catch that too. Okay, so for this, I'm just gonna give it a name, the space. Cute. And then we're gonna just close all the other prompts. And I will move this as well. Then we wanna head into the editor, click edit. And I actually want a bit more of a blank section. So I'm just gonna switch the order of these so that this one comes up here. It's perfect. Now, the next thing I wanna do is change out my image that's happening here. So I'm gonna click on the image, click on edit, and delete out the demo photo and add in one of my own. You can also get images from the stock library. I have already found the images which I want from a stock library. Um, and so I'm just gonna upload them here. And then I actually wanna change up the design of this first image. So I'm gonna head over to design and then shape, shape and two, three ratio. And I chose this one right here. Now I'm also going to make the box a little bit smaller. And let me see how big I had it. It was a bit smaller here. So I'm gonna pull this, change up the size. Okay, so that is that. The next thing I needed is a little bit of text. Let me see, we have the bell. I'm gonna paste that in. And then we also had a second text section. And this is my text here. I'm going to delete all this out, paste it in. And it's actually already picked up the heading type, which I wanted it to have from the copy and paste. So this one is heading four, and this one is a heading one. So that is all good for now. Now, the next thing that we need is our other image. So let's see, we have an image with another shape and then two lines, one going over the image and one going under the image. So let's make that happen. I'm gonna pull this image block right here, edit. Go back to content, delete out the image which is currently there and select the image which I want. Then again, we'll head to design, shape, two, three, and this is the shape I want on this guy. Again, I want the image to be a bit smaller. And I like my blue boxes around the item to really fit the item, if that makes sense. A little bit, a bit bigger. There we go. Okay, this a bit more like so. And then I need my two lines. I'm gonna go add block line it's up here and drag it over and then i need a second line this pull it over and i have one going over top and one going underneath i'm gonna drag them out so they go all the way to the left hand side of the page then the one over top this one is going over top so i'm gonna pull it out a bit further okay perfect then down here I have another image, two text blocks, one with a background color on it. So let me do that next. I'm just gonna delete these out actually. And the reason FYI that you want your little boxes not to be too large is sometimes, see when I went to go try delete reception, there was something overlapping it. And so that's why you wanna keep your boxes small. There we go, now it's in the right. A bit more space between the two. There, it's better. Okay, now I'm going to make my section a bit taller. And there, better. Okay, good. So now I need that image, the circular image. So I'm gonna add an image block, click edit, content, add the file, and head into design shape. For this one, I wanna circle. Okay, perfect. Be a bit bigger. And then we had some text going over. Drag this into place. What text do I have? Welcome you from. Paste that in and pull out this box so that it has the space to be all on one line there. Now it was a little bit overlapping here. 
And our next text, that's too overlapping there. I'm going to copy and paste in my text from here. Lovely. And then we need a background on this one. So I'm going to click on edit on the background. Go to padding, juice this down a bit. That's better. Perfect. Okay, so that all looks good, the main content of the page, but now we need to change up the colors. So you'll notice in my example, we have a like pinky purple situation happening here. And then we also have our title is on the left hand side. There's nothing in the middle and then we have the button on the right. So let's start off with the colors and then we'll go to the header. So I'm gonna go into design, site styles, colors, edit palette, and then you can choose all your specific colors here. But to make this easy for the example, I'm just gonna choose one of the preset color palettes. This was the one I chose here. So again, these are designer palettes already created for you, preset palettes. Alternatively, you can select all of your own colors up here if you want to. Again, just for this example, to make it quick, I'm just gonna use one of the preset color palettes. Okay, so that's good. Now, the next thing we need to do is head back into pages. We don't want these items in our top navigation, so I'm gonna pull them down to our not linked section and they will disappear from the top there. And then in order to get this bit, the space over to the left-hand side, I'm gonna go to layout, logo on the left, save and let me check that all looks like my original pretty close i need to change a little bit my text is bigger i use this option so that the text filled the space of the box looks like this let's see if that's right oh that's actually pretty good there just add some space down here and there we have it in just a couple minutes you have a beautifully designed page happening right there now, remember at the beginning of the video how we talked about picking the right Squarespace template? When you pick the right template from the start, you save yourself an absolute ton of time when it comes to building your website and redesigning your website. So be sure to watch this video next to learn everything which you need to know about picking the right Squarespace template for your website.